What's up, crazies? So, this video is going up late. It's going up real late. Like, at least a week late. Probably later than that. Um, so, I moved from Seattle back to Texas. Um, the beginning of May. Since I got back, after I had unpacked, um, I have been working full time. And then when I'm not working, I have been at home prepping for a LARP. Um, a LARP that is taking place in two days. It's Friday night, it's taking place on Sunday, um, which is June 24th. I have literally like been coming home and sewing and or crafting of some form for this LARP and then going to sleep and then going to work and then coming home and sewing and then going to sleep and then going to work and then coming home and sewing and then going to sleep and having a day off so I spend the entire day sewing and then going to sleep and then going to work and on and on and on um so <laughs> nothing's gotten done i have videoed a little bit of the prep work um which is i was going to post it but my camera and computer are being dumb and won't won't move the footage over like I will, you know, set it to move them over and then walk away and then my computer will say, nope, you're not here anymore. I can't do it. Um, so I've been having to drag and drop individually and sit there, babysit it essentially while it moves the footage over one by one. So I haven't even gotten the footage that I had, what little there was. I haven't gotten, I don't think I've even gotten half of it off of my camera yet. Um, and I was supposed to post this last Sunday. Sorry. Um, but so I just, I just didn't have time to babysit the footage and edit it and post it. So it's, it's just, it's not going to get done until after the LARP is over. Um. <laughs> and then, so the LARP is on Sunday, and then on Tuesday and Wednesday, my sister and brother-in-law and their new baby boy are moving in to this house. So there are, like, moving things that I have to do so that we have room so it may not even get put up till like the end of next week um but it's fine it's fine I'm going to post it before you know the next month it's going to go up you're just gonna get it at an odd time it's fine
I'm getting ready to pack up all these things that I've sewn for the LARP. And I'm going to talk about them as I put them up. So let's go. This is what we're looking at, folks. Um, I think I'm going to start with the tents. So this is the fabric portion of tents. Six of them. I've got three merchant tents. So they've got more color. The camera does not seem to be picking it up, but this is royal purple. Um, it's picking that up alright, and it's picking up the blue alright, but for whatever reason, it's just not picking up that purple. Oh well. Um, and then, just three plain gray tents. Uh, and then I have two burlap tents um, in a trash bag, because burlap is worse than glitter. Because it smells bad too. Well, I can't lift this up with one hand, so it's going in there. You just don't get to see it on video. Got two vests that I made, one out of faux suede and one out of faux leather. Um, and then this is <laughs> a faux suede, like modern-ish, western-ish vest um, that was given to me. And like the hoarder that I am, I did not get rid of it, even though it's a male size that is like three sizes too big for me. But I was like, I'll use it for something eventually. So it's not exactly period accurate to what we're going for, um, but it'll be better than nothing. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. I have a Viking caftan, which is um, a coat, sort of. I mean, like it, it was worn as a coat, like an overcoat type thing over a tunic, um, which is for our mead merchant. I have a Viking hood, which is just like a hood with a little bit of a cowl. Um, I just use scraps and it, it's not, it is not a well proportioned Viking hood and I will make more better proportion Viking hoods in the future, um, but not now. Um, these are <laughs> Elizabethan um, period poofy pants, uh, but Vikings wore poofy pants too. Um, so these are also going to be worn by our mead merchant. Stick that on there. I have one, two, three, four shirts here um, that people can wear. They're more piratey in nature. Um, and then one is more like a um, chemise that's supposed to be worn under like a corset and skirt and top. Um, but again, better than a t-shirt. So it's coming with. Um, and then I've got one, two, three, four, five uh, tunics. Um, three of them are Viking style tunics and two of them are um, just like straight tunics that lace on the sides. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. You'll probably see video um, with them in it if you are watching my other channel, Kanda Panda Cosplay, because um, I will be putting LARP vlogs up and everything. Um, so I've got those, all those like clothing items. I'm going to put those in there. And you're not going to get video because again, I can't do this one handed. Different cloaks here. This one, um, it's just tan. 
Um, this one will be worn. It's got a channel sewn into the top portion. Um, so then just depending on the size of the human, you know, a belt that will fit around there, um, like one shoulder to under a shoulder, it's going to be worn that way. Um, could also be worn just around the neck, but there's a lot of fabric and it's heavy, um, and it's real long, um, like, if I were to wear it, it would be dragging on the floor. And I am 5'2". I kind of made it with the taller, um, broader males in the LARP in mind. Um, instead of making, you know, I've tried to make, you know, like a variety of sizes in things so that it's not... Tried to keep the players in mind. Um, so yeah, it's going to be like cockeyed on their back, like from left shoulder to right armpit kind of a deal, um, with the strap in front going kind of cross body, if that makes sense. I hope it does. I hope you're getting a picture of what it's going to look like on. Um, this is a red crushed velvet, um, and it's just your basic straight cloak with um, a clasp in the front and a hood, which it was made for me um, a couple of years ago. So it's only going to fit maybe up to a size medium, but possibly only small. So it may or may not get used this time around. Um, well, we'll talk about these since they're sitting here. Uh, these are bracers that I've made. I've made a total of six. There's only three right here. The other three are on the table over there. I need to make sure to grab those. Um, but they've got this cool design carved into them, and I painted them because they were green. Um, they turned out real cool. Like They look like leather, but they're actually craft foam. And they look like engraved and everything. But these are for um, the guards that we're going to have. I don't know exactly how many we have planned to have at this particular moment. I know, it's only two days away and I don't have a complete head count. But it's fine. It's fine. Um, and then we've got this cloak, which is black. Um, and it has a design painted on the back in red, but I'm not going to unfold it to show you. Uh, and then it has this, which is going to kind of end up looking like it's a brooch or like it's what's holding the cloak together or something, but um, really made it just so that you could see the design. Um, but this one ties, like it comes around the neck. Let's see if I can show you. So it comes around the neck like a normal cloak would. The straps cross and then go down and tie around behind your back. Um, which I find I think is sturdier, um, but also I think it prevents the cloak from choking, which is really a necessity when you're like running around and doing a lot of fighting and stuff. Um, so I've got those. And then I have these spell bags made for, um, they actually, they go with this cloak. Um, I don't know if you can tell by the tree marked on them and the tree here, stump, sorry, tree stump. Um, the design that's painted on the back of the cloak is also a tree stump. Um, but these are spell packets uh, for that character. Um, and then we have nomads. And we've given them pocket sand. So they can throw pocket sand at people. Um, and they have to, they're blinded and they have to close their eyes for, I can't remember how long. Three seconds, thirty seconds. 
probably not 30 seconds, probably like three, five or 10 seconds. Um, but so we've got those torn up arm warmers. They've got kind of a gray taupe color. Um, therefore our mob, our enemy this go around, they're kind of like medieval zombies or pre-medieval zombies. Um, so then I've got varied sizes for varied arm sizes because people are different sizes. And on that note, and, and then I've just got a few different belts um, that people can use because belts surprisingly add a lot to a costume. Um, one that's more feminine and kind of like corset-like um, and then just gender neutral ones that could be used for anything. This one I'm thinking might end up getting used for that one cloak that needs go oh, fly in my ear. That needs um, the tan one. It, it'll probably be used for the tan one. <laughs> Words. These are eight count them eight animal furs animal hides um, for the hunters to, uh, well, some of it's just to like add to their bed rolls and things to make them look like hunters' bed rolls. Um, but also for them to s try and sell to the fabric merchant or trade for goods and services. Um, I'm going to be taking this spool of faux suede, uh, this isn't cord, it's not round, what do you call it? Lace. They call it lace. We'll call it lace too. This is, uh, I think this is faux, but it doesn't say faux on it. It says it's deerskin lace, so it might be real, which freaks me out a tiny bit, but it's fine. Um, so I'm taking those with me just for, I mean, you never know when you're going to need it. I know that like the bracers are going to need cord because obviously this is one lace that is tying three currently. Um, and I'm going to need like six separate. So that's what that's for. I'm going to finish packing up this stuff and then we'll see where we're at. Folks, and that's that. Close it up. Make it fit. And we're good to go. Oh, Luke is here. Charlie. Inside. Why is he so excited about this? Why is he so fat? Hey! Because there are people here. Oh. And we think they might give him attention. Back it. Back it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hey, that's on Hey. You're following me. Yes, you have a baby. I want to see the baby. He's awake. Oh. Hi, baby. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Do you face. not like the light? Yeah. Look at that grumpy face. He's just not Hi, baby. Hi. Look at how cute you are. Hi, dear. Hi. Yeah. I'm your Auntie Candace. Hi, cutie. Uh huh. Come see him? You want to talk to me? Yes. Oh. I want you to Hi. Hear and I get him. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Hi. Look at this. Look at this. Come on. Give me your foot. His legs are already Charlie, like past the end. Charlie, right here. Little You're stinker. so dumb, baby. Little stinker. You're so long. Oh, big oh. boy. Hi. Oh. Oh, so 
Look at that. Is that your Gigi? You going to talk to her? Do you talk? Carefully choose on that one. Well. Let's give him a minute to wake up. He's like me. Yeah. Wakes up slow.